Cinna World. Cinna World. Yeah. Position to, to acquire Cinebox. Tell us about that deal. So yeah, that that came out of nowhere. Um, we we <laughs> you didn't expect it either. We didn't expect it either. Oh, okay. I, I had one of my staff say, "You know what? Uh, it would be nice to get a heads up." And I looked at him and said, "Yeah, for you and me both." Um, so no, I, I had no idea that that this was going to happen. Uh, we got a call from from Gordon Nelson, who's our CFO. Uh, you know, six or eight hours before the news was about to break. You know, Wim and I both sit on the senior leadership team here, and you know, it, it was a surprise, but. At the end of the day, um, our board of directors has a fiduciary responsibility to to do what's in the best right of of the shareholders. And Cineworld came in; they're a global powerhouse. You know, with this acquisition, if it goes through, uh, as we all expect that it will, mm-hmm. um, they will be the second largest global cinema uh, exhibition chain. And and they gave us a forty two percent premium on our share price, which you know, at the end of the day, is a lot of money when we're talking about two point eight billion dollars. So mm-hmm. it's a shame to lose Cineplex as a Canadian institution, you know, Canadian owned, yeah. operated. Uh, but the people that have built this company over the last 30 years from our CEO, Ellis Jacob and COO, Dan McGrath. And as I mentioned, Gordon Nelson, you know, these guys have built their entire careers building this business and given us a lot of jobs and opportunities. And we love everybody at Cineplex and couldn't be more appreciative, but it's definitely not closed yet. It's and not Cine, not, uh, Cine World right. may be our partner or they may not be. We're in what we call... Uh, a seven week go shop period. So when this when this podcast airs February the third, we'll know definitively who our who our partner is going to be. Uh, okay. um, but up until February second, we can decide um, if we receive other bids or if we receive competitive bids, higher bids. Uh, right. There's a lot of opportunity out there. But oh. and then for for our audience, could you uh, go a little bit more into what a go shop period means? Sure. So think yeah. of it as we got a great offer. We've accepted that offer. And they said, if you can go find a better offer, you good luck. And uh, <laughs> if, if you find it, give us the opportunity to match it. And uh, if not, then then you can accept so it. So are we so. talking like AMCs as competing bids or something like that? Uh, competing bids? Uh, I would say that AMC should take a look at it. I don't yeah. I don't know. They, they are, <laughs> I think they're number one uh, in the U.S. when it comes to movie theaters. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think that they would be, you know, the kind of candidate that would take a look at it. Private equity would probably take a look at it too. Mm-hmm. Cineplex, God, they do a heck of a lot of, of revenue each year. They're a really great business. And one thing that, that people don't really understand is Cineplex not only runs the 165 theaters that we've got in the country, but we own the media company that sells all of the assets. So the pre-show assets, right. all the digital media boards, right. yeah, all those, you know, video game machines and, and foosballs and all that stuff that you pay for uh, before the movies. Uh, we own that too. We yeah. own World Gaming, the construction and design. Scene There's so well, right? m- scene. We own yeah. half of scene. Ah. Sc- Scotiabank owns the other half. But of course. Uh, when you think about it, we've got 10 million scene members. We just broke 10 million, which is a huge accomplishment. When you think about yeah, this, huge. what is it, 34, 35 million Canadians? So one in three and a half Canadians has a scene card in their pocket, which means we have their data in our database. Um, they got my Cineplex data. is probably about as good a run business as I've ever seen. Mm. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm really thrilled to work here and I can't wait to see what the next couple of months looks like with uh, a potential partner in Cineworld or maybe somebody else. Oh.